Angela's Journal, June 3rd. I am exhausted and my hands are blistered, but it's a good feeling. It's hard to believe that just a few days ago our youth group was comfortably in Tennessee and now we are on the other side of the ocean, working alongside farmers in rural Sierra Leone. It's a lot of work. We want to understand what it is like to live as subsistence farmers in West Africa, but we are learning so much more. Showing us how they live and what their struggles are, what their hopes are, what their desires, what, what makes them happy, what makes them sad. They're just teaching us their life. The best way to learn about our neighbors is to experience life together. Recently, our youth group from Christ United Methodist Church in Franklin, Tennessee went on a mission immersion trip in Sierra Leone. The purpose of the experience was to help the youth listen and discern God's call to work towards justice and enhance their sensitivities to the local and global poor, inspiring them to take action. The immersion experience, made possible in part through a grant from United Methodist Peace with Justice Sunday Offerings, allowed us to develop our voices to advocate for peace and justice in a variety of ways. <laughs> we know it's odd to see middle class American youth working the soil side by side with the villagers and we learn that our lack of experience is rather amusing. <laughs> the point of events are so many. But our new friends seem to appreciate our efforts. I knew you had wanted to know to get knowledge how we do our own things here. So it's, it, it, it's very educative that you travel from there to here and to learn about our culture and the way of doing things. And for them to leave their comfortable zone and come with us here, dwell with us, eat the food we eat, do the things we do, we feel blessed. They are teaching us to process cassava, to climb a coconut tree, and to even carry firewood. We eat with them and we dance with them. We're all brothers and sisters. It's not just people who worship, think, or look like you. It's everyone, regardless of how they look or how they think. We are becoming good friends with two local youth. Suleiman is a Christian and ready to help with just about anything. Mariama is a Muslim who is quick to smile. They are staying with us at the guest house and are helping us to understand what it is like to be a young person in Sierra Leone. I will miss them a lot when we will be going. So, while we are visiting one of the most economically disadvantaged countries in the world, we are coming to realize that there's real abundance here. Not in material possessions, but in God's love. They're so rich in their love for each other and the community that they have. The greatest thing that I've learned is the sincerity and the genuineness in their love and serving. This experience changed all of us, and we are forming long-term friendships that have already changed how we look at our world. For me, it's more of what can I do now? Like, what's, what's the next step? And I feel like this is the start of my, my life, my career, my, my dreams. We've been blessed to go on this trip, and I think that's an obligation for each of us to be advocates, not only of Sierra Leone, but just poverty around the world and the injustice that countries are facing. When you give to the Peace with Justice offering, you help connect people, spark ideas, and encourage positive change. Your gifts help develop leaders to advocate for issues that support economic justice, self-development, and restore communities.